guys, it's me, Brandy, and I'm back with another video. If you read the title, you know what this is about. I did an Ancestry DNA test through 23andMe a couple of months ago. I'm sure I can leave the link below. I got my own test results for that one. This, however, is the test results of my dad and my uncle, and I'm sure you guys probably want pictures of my uncle. However, I don't feel comfortable throwing pictures up here on my channel without his permission. So yeah, with that being said, I convinced my dad to take the test through Ancestry.com. It gave a more comprehensive analysis of several different countries. Unlike 23andMe, which breaks it down through regions, it was like South and North Africa. Let's just get right into it. I have already looked at the results, so don't be surprised if I don't have like a shocked face. Here are the results for my dad. My dad is 99% African with 1% European. He has 28% Cameroon, Congo, 27% Mali, 12% Ivory Coast, Ghana, 12% Nigerian, 10% Benin, Togo, 3% South Central Hunter Gatherer, and the low confidence regions are 5% Senegal, 1% North African, and 1% Africa Southern Eastern Bantu. The European country is 1% Iberian Peninsula. For my uncle's results, same mother, same father, so the results are very similar. For my uncle, he got 34% Mali, 29% Cameroon Congo, 19% Ivory Coast Ghana, 10% Nigerian, 3% Senegal, 2% Africa, South Central Bantu, I don't know, I, I cut off at the picture, sorry. 1% North African, 1% Africa, Southern Eastern Bantu, 0% Benin, Togo, and the European country is 1% Ireland. I find it so interesting that my uncle has like a higher percentage of Mali and while wow, my dad, he also, he has a higher percentage of Cameroon, Congo. Going through my 23andMe test and the research that I did on my own, I found out that my mother's haplogroup linked to, you know, Cameroon. Cameroonian or Gabonese, I think. I never thought that my dad would also be Cameroonian. For some reason, it didn't really cross my mind. Also, with the Jed match, you guys saw that I had results of Mali. What was the other one? I don't think I wrote it down. I think Mali came up. That was one of the higher results that came up several times throughout the different various DNA tests. So it's just it's just really crazy results, and I'm gonna put these side by side. So obviously, you both can, or both you all can look at it. You can look at both of the results. And it's also interesting how my dad has like 10% been in Togo while my uncle has 0% been in Togo. Isn't that interesting? He didn't get any of that DNA. I'm not really shocked at, at the highest percentage of 99% because giving my own results, you guys saw that I, what was it, 92, 91% African. Maybe one day I'm gonna do the test result myself through Ancestry. I'm super invested in all this. I find this completely interesting. Um, I'm excited to like officially just know that more than likely I have a huge percentage of Cameroonian, which is great because I'm learning French. I just want to say one more thing real quick. Even if you go through 23andMe, you can still go through research and go through all the different comparisons and DNA things and look at history, places where slaves were taken from and what states they were mainly taken to. It's a lot of research and a lot of time. I mean, it took me a couple of hours, I would say, maybe like six hours to go through everything. I found a, a great deal about things in slavery that I did not know about before. Just I just found out so much more history going through 23andMe because I had to rely on myself to manage the research and I still was able to find results. I highlighted the countries that came up the most. Cameroon, Congo, Bantu, Nigeria, and Senegal. I confirmed pretty much everything I thought. That's all I wanted to say with that and I just want to thank you guys for watching. Feel free to share your results below. I'm sure I'm excited to hear them. I love looking at these videos. So I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>